guys and welcome back to my channel and another foodie video you guys know I love a foodie video and I love bringing you ideas that you may not have thought of or just meal inspiration to feed your family I've done lots of kind of budget videos food on a budget meals on a budget that kind of thing because I do like to show you guys how to live your best life on a budget but today's video is going to be all about how you can create store cupboard meals and also hot pot meals because I do love my hot pot I feel like it's just an easy way of creating some meals and pop it on in the morning and then it's done by the afternoon if you're homeschooling or you're just trying to work from home and you've been furloughed anything like that this there's going to be some hot pot stuff but there's also going to be store cupboard meal ideas so stuff that you may well have in your cupboards just that you can just grab and make so you don't need any fresh food uh, or maybe stuff that can be popped in the freezer when you buy it and then you can just go to grab it when you need it just lots of ideas hopefully you'll find this video helpful and informative and that you might like to subscribe to my channel for three videos every single week I upload lots of budgeting and parenting and homey videos and I really would love to have you as part of this community anyway let's get on with the video shall we and I'll be sharing with you some meal ideas and if you like this kind of video then definitely give it a like so it gauges if you want more of videos like this let's get on with the video I've got a butternut squash a can of chickpeas some coconut milk and then I'm just going to use these as an absolute cheat but it's going to make it really really quick and simple and easy and cost friendly. So I've chopped up all of my butternut squash, so I'm going to pop that inside there. But I'm going to pop some flour on this again just to make sure it thickens because the uh, coconut milk is obviously quite thin. So I'm going to just pop a little bit of flour over the top. just thickens the sauce when it's in there. You can't taste it. And then also I'm going to pop some salt in there at this point. And then just let it coat it and so with that I'm actually going to put in some of these which are my uh, from the freezer I always rave about these because they're so handy just to have in the freezer pop a little bit of garlic I mean it will have garlic in the sauce of course but we can just add a little bit more and I'm also going to pop some of the chopped ginger in so to that I'm now going to add my drained chickpeas the oh my gosh <laughs> everywhere and I'm also going to pop in my coconut milk I've given this a really good shake oh it's still really lumpy though so you just need to mix that in and also my um, madras paste obviously you can use any strength heat paste that you like if you want to do a korma or a vindaloo whichever one suits you I'm kind of thinking I might add in some tomatoes at this point sorry about that guys I should have probably thought about that I'm just going to give it a good mix I might start letting it cook and then see if I need to add in the tomatoes. I mean, it looks attractive. <laughs> oh, it's going on here. That coconut milk, I've mixed it, I shook it for so long. Oh, it already smells so good. This is so easy to do. I feel like butternut squash lasts absolutely ages. Although it's not a store cupboard ingredient, it does last so long in the vegetable rack. And that is going to be so delicious in about five hours time so just chuck it on a high heat or six to eight hours on a low heat and watch it all cook and your house is going to smell amazing see you soon these never look that appetizing do they but it smells amazing i did put half a tin of tomatoes in halfway through so just to let you know if you're also making it we're also going to have some veggie samosas with it and some rice. 
Here we go, it looks amazing and it smells so good too. So quick and easy. Next up, I'm gonna make a delicious bowl of hummus. This is great for a lunch or a snack for two people. You can pop with it anything that you have in the cupboards, pepper, cucumber, carrot here, whatever you can find, even just some toast. Usually I'd use some chickpeas, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna use butter beans and that's okay. Whatever you've got, a bean would do. I'm gonna put in three cloves of garlic here and crush them into my food processor and then I'm going to take half a lemon I would usually use a whole lemon here but I don't actually have a whole lemon so we're going to go with what we've got in the cupboard and I'm going to squeeze that into the food processor followed by a teaspoon of ground cumin again these are the kind of spices I just have in my store cupboard and hopefully you do too and then another teaspoon of smoked paprika followed by a generous portion of salt probably a about three pinches of salt here and just grind that into the fruit processor so once you've got all of that in there it's literally just a chuck it all in recipe i love it i'm going to follow up with some tahini this goes off in 2022 and it's been in my cupboard for over a year so it's a great store cupboard ingredient i'm going to use about a tablespoon and a half here again you may need to just add some extra by the end of the recipe once you've done that, you can give it a good old blend up in the food processor. I love these chuck it all in recipes. They just are so, so easy. At this point, you're going to need a generous glug or two of olive oil and then about 50 mils of water just to loosen it. So give it another whiz up and that is all you need to do. Your freshly made hummus is ready to eat. As I said, if you haven't got fresh bread or pitta then you can just use a uh, root vegetable or anything like that to go with it and it is really delicious so really simple i've just got a sweet potato i'm going to do another one of those peeled and chopped one carrot and some butter beans and that's going to make up the main bit of the meal then i'm going to put some chili in this is the frozen one which means you can just not waste any of it some tomato puree some chopped tomatoes mixed herbs and some pesto just optional you don't have to have that I'm just going to literally chop it all up and chuck it all in. So once again, I'm going to coat my root vegetables here with some flour. It just helps thicken the sauce and make it a little bit less watery. And then I'm going to go in with some salt and some pepper just to season it. And as you can see, it's a bit of a mess, but that's okay. I'm actually using a stock cube here. Sorry if I didn't say that earlier on. And adding my tomato sauce, I'm just going to use that as my base and then just chuck in any old herbs you can find from the cupboard it really does not matter if they're italian herbs mixed herbs whatever kind of herbs you have in the cupboard that's the joy of these still cupboard recipes and then once you've got that mixed up together pour it on over your root vegetables and that's going to just really flavor the dish it's going to be delicious i'm going to take some butter beans here i'm going to drain them and then i'm going to pop them into this mixture and then i'm going to give it a little stir up make sure everything's coated and then you will need to add in some tomato puree just to thicken it and give it a bit more depth of flavor and then again i'm reaching for my frozen chilies and then i'm going to pop it into my slow cooker for about five to six hours on high so i'm gonna lift the lid on this delicious creation and it's looking really good you can see how much it's reduced down by that line i'm gonna chuck in some pesto and maybe some creme fraiche if i have any um but obviously you can make this totally vegan if you wanted to you can add chicken to it if you wanted to put some thighs in it would be really nice and yeah i'm gonna put some leafy greens maybe some broccoli with it and enjoy it it looks so hearty so i hope that you like that guys and that you might want to watch more videos from me i'll leave my meal ideas and budget food hauls and everything like that in the description bar for you thank you for being here and i will see you in my next video bye